During the time of the Sultan, there was a place located near Java, Indonesia, and it was called Kimpayat. And in that place, there was a ruling Sultan, and he had a wife who was pregnant. And when the Sultan found about it, he was very happy. The Sultan shared the good news to the citizens of Kimbayat that the dear Sultana has been pregnant for several months. All the citizens were very happy when the kingdom of Kimbayat was very <gasps> troubled by a giant bird. This bird is harmful to crops and even to human life. This bird is the Garuda. Everyone was scared and panicked. Not a single person did not scream. As the people ran, the Sultana Sultana of Kimbayat were separated by running. The Sultana of Kimbayat was pregnant then. In great fear, she gave birth to a baby girl by the river. They left the baby in a boat. Someone picked up the baby. He was the Yohara, a merchant from the other kingdom. He made the baby rich and brought her home. They named the baby Bidasari. As Bidasari grew up, she became even more beautiful. Bidasari is happy in the company of her familiar parents. In the town of Indrapura, there was a sultan named Mungindra. He had been married to his wife Lila Sari for two years. But during their marriage, Lila Sari was still afraid that her husband might find someone better than her. Because the sultana did not agree with what her husband said, the next day, she sent eunuchs to every part of their town to find out if there was anyone more beautiful than her. Lila Sari's men are searching until they saw Bidasari and she was more beautiful than Lila Sari. Lila Sari imprisons Bidasari and every time the sultan leaves, she hurt Bidasari. Lila Sari immediately summoned the courtiers to retrieve the necklace that Bidasari was offering to. The courtiers immediately obeyed the sultana's order and they succeeded in getting the goldfish. The Yahara was so afraid that the sultana might kill Bidasari. He hid with the sari in the built palace hidden in the forest far from Indrapura. One day, the sultan was so bored, he decided to go to the forest to hunt. The sultan saw a palace. Because the sultan did not know what was inside the palace, he wanted to enter it. He entered the rooms one by one, and in one room, he saw a woman with angelic features. But she was still asleep. The sultan waited for the woman to wake up. The sultan introduced his name and told Bidasari that he had no bad intentions for her. After that, Bidasari told him everything that happened to her. The sultan asked Bidasari with no hesitations to marry Bidasari. Because Bidasari agreed, they immediately decided to get married, and Bidasari was made to sit on the throne, while Lilasari was forced to stay in her palace. Meanwhile, some years later, Bidasari's real parents are once again living quietly in Kimbayat. There was one more offspring, and it was named Sinapati. One day, the Yohara went to Kimbayat and saw Sinapati there. The Yohara immediately noticed that Sinapati looked exactly like Bidasari. He befriended Sinapati and told her about her sister. Immediately, Sinapati went to her parents and asked about it. When they reached Indrapura, the two sisters met and were both surprised to see that they looked alike. The Sultan of Kimbayat is happy now that he has found his lost daughter. While the Sultan of Indrapura was surprised that the one Desari turned out to be a princess.
married with a sari turned out to be a princess.